YouTube, Shukin Shinobi here with a review of the Thundercats Armor of Omens. Um, it is the 4 inch scale. Uh, this itself is a 12 inch figure, but um, it, it's in the 4 inch assortment of, uh, of toys. So, here's the Armor of Omens. We've seen it when Lionel got projected into the past to go and save his future, some such like that. So we've only seen this once. Whether it appears again later in the show once Lionel fully masters the uh, Sword of Omens remains to be known because we were only in Season 1 at the time of this recording. But um, I hope he does because this is pretty cool. Uh, the figure itself has some glaring flaws. Um, first of all, the chest is heavily chromed, so it's a fingerprint magnet. Uh, and the it is a little bit off-putting considering that the chrome is different than the gold paint. So but uh, that aside, it is very sparkly and shiny, and that caught my eye, and that's why I bought it. So, childlike reflexes aside, uh, it's a pretty cool toy. You've got the head crest up here that looks a bit like a Gundam, which is pretty neat. Uh, and it's basically a robotic lion. It's got long hair. This is a separate piece that just kind of uh, plugs in right there. It does have a head rotation right here, so he can rotate his head. But because of his hair, that's as far as it goes. Um, there is a shoulder rotation that lets the shoulder move all the way like that. However, there is no side-to-side -side motion. There is a swivel right here at the elbow, plus a single joint right there. Cannot go backwards, though. It only goes forwards. The wrist has a little bit of movement here. Um, I think the hand could come out if you pulled it really hard, but I'm not going to. So there is a little bit of movement here, but not um, all that much. Uh, as for the lower section, it doesn't move at all. There's no waist swivel of any sort. There's just armor here. No sort of uh, elbow joint at all. And no toe joint at all. This is all one solid brick of, of plastic here. So that is a little bit of a disappointment, I think. Uh, his tail can swivel, so his tail can wag. That's about all. But, um... Look-wise, I really like the way this thing looks. Um, like I said, you got the head sculpt with the V Gundam crest thing going on. This opens up all right here, so I can understand no articulation here because you fit a figure inside of it. Um, I'll talk about that in a little bit. Um, and then the leg skirt armor down there um, looks really nice too, I think. Um, despite the fact that the figure overall is pretty bad... I just love the way the Armor of Omens looks, uh, and it reminds me a lot of a mix between, if you're a tokusatsu fan, of like Gosei Knight uh, mixed with a little bit of, uh, of Ryo or Daishi if you're a Jungle Fury fan. Reminds me a lot of things like that, and I just love the overall way that everything looks on this thing. So despite the fact that the articulation makes this a pretty crappy toy considering it can't get any sort of poses, I just really like the way it looks. So it does have full um, compatibility with 4-inch figures, primarily Lionel. The figure that it comes with is a gold, not painted, a gold um, casted, there we go, uh, in gold plastic of the... Lionel that comes with his thunder bike or thunder racer, I forgot they were called, but that is the mold choice that they used for, for this guy. So because of that, he doesn't have any sort of articulation going on in the shoulders besides the swivel. He has have a swivel there at the head and then these joints right here. So nothing spectacular on this figure and it looks really derpy. Really, the only reason is that they needed a lion figure to pack in here, and this was the easiest one to just cast in gold plastic and call it a day. So, that's really the only reason that uh, that this exists. I would have much rather have seen some other figure come packed with this thing to make it a little bit more incentive to pick it up than this thing, but what are you going to do? So, you open this up, just pop this open right there, and that will fall down, apparently, due to the power of gravity and just like the tiger flyer that we took a look at before you're going to want to peg the thunderlink port right there so it just clips right on um it's a little bit harder to line up without visually seeing it so you're gonna have to maneuver until you figure out what it looks like in there and then that uh the on button or on switch rather is right back here 
So I just turned it off. So let's turn it on. There's no sort of confirmation noise of turning it on. However, when you press the button, that's with the figure inside of it. Here it is without. And as you cannot see, the eyes up there light up. So once you put the figure in, as you, spoilers already found out, you get an additional sound. Like I said, it's hard to line this thing up. So there we go. So he's all good to go. So you just close this up, close that down, and you will hear. So you get the odd noise from the Sword of Omens toy, plus the Thundercat's hoe from the Sword of Omens toy. And then when you press this down, you'll get some different sounds. So you'll get that majestic noise, the sword noise from earlier, the other sword noise from earlier, and Thundercat Toe. So you have four different sounds. So that's enough of that. So every time you press the button, the eyes up here light up, which I think is a pretty nice effect. You want to uh, take a look at that. Thundercats! Oh! I would have much rather have seen the eyes and the chest light up. I think that would have made for a pretty cool effect, but what are you going to do? So like I said before, any figure can work inside of there. If we pop this Lino out, we can take legit Lino, and he can fit inside of there as well. If you line up the Thunderlink port, which I'm not doing. His Thunderlink port isn't that big, and because of his little armor pad right there, it doesn't particularly want to lock in place all that well. But he fits in there just fine. Uh, as you can tell, it's not activating the Thunderlink port. But he does fit in there. But because of the way his shoulder pad, shoulder pad up here bulges outward, it just doesn't really fit properly. So that's a little bit of a bummer. But that's why you have this gold guy. Then lastly, it comes with a giant Sword of Omens that is pretty thick so it can still be pliable but it doesn't get all wiggly like some of the thinner ones do and that just fits right in either of the claws just like that and like I said you can't really get too dynamic of poses so you're gonna have to rely heavily on the swivel and the slight single joint up there so that's really about as best as you're gonna get uh, overall, I honestly like this. Um, I picked it up at twenty three for twenty three ninety nine at or twenty three ninety seven at Walmart, and that's the only place I've seen it. So I don't know prices elsewhere, but for that price, I can't really recommend it because it just doesn't do enough to justify that price. However, despite the nitpickiness about the way the joints are lined up and the way that there really isn't joints, um, I still like the way this looks. Um, considering how articulated and awesome Bandai's 12-inch uh, Shogun Battleized Samurai Ranger is, I would love to see a articulated level of awesomeness that figure has built into an Armor of Omens figure that doesn't have the gimmicky sounds and lights, but is just on its own merit a purely articulated figure. I think that would not only sell the collectors, but it would just look really, really awesome. Because, like I said, I do love the way this looks. It's just not really all that playable. I think kids will really like it because it is compatible with some of the 4-inch figures. And it is in scale with the 4-inch figures, I think. I don't remember the scaling in the show all that well. Um, so, I think kids will get a really good kick out of this. But as for collectors, really it's up to your discretion. I think this would look really nice sitting on a display. But um, really the real winner would, uh, here would be a 12-inch fully articulated Armor of Omens uh, for collectors. So I'm going to really hope that they pull that out because I think it would be absolutely phenomenal. So really awesome design, just suffered by a pretty crappy toy in my opinion. So 
cool, but not cool at the same time. A little bit contradictory there, but that's just sort of how I feel about the subject. So, you can check out shukashobi.com for latest updates on my reviews and hauls. And, of course, check out writersrangersandrambles.com for the latest tokusatsu news in the craziest way possible. So, take care and have a great one. Bye.